last month or so it's been a little bit of a seesaw. We saw a cold spell. We saw a warm spell. We had a little bit of everything last month with the exception of winter weather, of course, and in the red that was days we were above average for our high temperature in the blue. That is where we were below average and you can see we were below average for over two weeks. I mean, it was 15 days from the 11th to the 26th there, and then we had a nice little warming trend from the 27th to 29th, which was this week, and then we had that cold front that moved through Tuesday and Wednesday, giving us some severe weather across Sabine County, and that cooled us off for yesterday, and that cool down has continued into today. So how does this compare to normal? Well, if you remember correctly, for meteorological winter, we were predicting that we were going to see above normal temperatures with below normal precipitation, but November, it's still a fall month. We saw below normal temperatures in Tyler. Look at that. The rainfall departure was just under four inches, about 71 hundredths of an inch of rain above average in Tyler. Not so much in Longview. We only saw about 3.4 inches still below that normal reading. But look at this temperature. We were below average when we average the high temperature and the low temperature together for all the days in November. We came out to about 55.2 degrees. And then in Lufkin, our average temperature was 58.2. That was above average, and they also saw below average rainfall only at about four and a little over four inches, I should say, and that was below average by about a half inch of rain. High temperatures today still below normal, upper 50s, lower 60s. Those have come down just a hair at this hour. We're now at 50 in Jacksonville, already down to 46 in Lufkin. It's 53 in Henderson, 53 in Longview. We're a little cooler where we've got those breaks in the clouds. Not so much across our central and northern counties where we effectively have a blanket of clouds. And as Katie mentioned, it's going to be a little warmer tomorrow. We are also going to have a little bit of rain in the area, but it's not a wash out. You do not need to cancel those plans. I mean, this is relatively low coverage here. A couple of showers here and there and we'll take what we can get. But again, it's not a washout. We could see a little bit of drizzle, maybe a light shower in the morning, but the front moves through and then by Saturday morning, we're seeing some drier air move into the region and then we've got the possibility of a few more rounds of precipitation starting on Sunday. But again, Sunday, Monday and most of next week's rain chances not going to present a washout situation where you need to cancel those out door plans. Depending on where you are, we'll be in the 40s and 50s for lows. And then as we head into tomorrow, we do hit 70 with about a 10% chance of an isolated shower or two. And as we look at the next several days, we're in the 60s and 70s for those highs. And again, I know the seven day looks bad. It is unsettled. I will admit that, but it's not going to rain every day over the next several days. The majority of days you probably won't see rain. And if you do happen to see rain in deep east Texas, it's not going to amount out to very much and you don't need to cancel those plans. High temperatures in deep east Texas in the 60s and 70s. Lows with the exception of tonight will be in the 50s and 60s over the next several days. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to fox51.com.